thank you for coming here uh, and I really appreciate you joining for this tragic oh, yeah. event uh, that has happened in the last few days. Um, I wanted um, to set this up. Uh, there was a um, help and support from a push from some brothers in our community uh, who wanted us to all get together and uh, let go of our differences and join for tragic events like this. I think uh, we should come together whenever there is uh, a tragic event or anything so we can get stronger and fight the hate and uh, terror in the world. Um, I will um, say a few words afterwards, but I uh, want to invite uh, Nabil, um, uh, Brother Nabil, to come and say Talawat, and we can start with a prayer, and then uh, we will have some speeches and a moment of silence afterwards. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح اسم ربك الأعلى الذي خلق فسوى والذي قدر فهدى والذي أخرج المرعى فجعله غثاء أحوى سنقرئك فلا تنسى إلا ما شاء الله إنه يعلم الجهر وما يخفى ونيسرك لليسرى فذكر إن نفعت الذكرى سيذكر من يخشى ويتجنبها الأشقى الذي يصلى النار الكبرى ثم لا يموت فيها ولا يحيا قد أفلح من تزكى وذكر اسم ربه فصلى بل تؤثرون الحياة الدنيا إن هذا لفي الصحف الأولى صحف إبراهيم وموسى صدق الله العظيم السلام عليكم Good evening Sassariyakal my dear friends, it's nice to see all our neighbors and our friends here. We see honorable ministers, counselors, and we see Muslim Association representative. We saw everyone here. We welcome you all, brother and sister. Our program, we, ha we want to have uh, your ideas and and your speeches, what you feel about this act. So after uh, the prayer, we are going to start our program. And first of all, I would like to request uh, Brenda Locke to come and start the program. Brenda, please. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of Mayor McCallum, uh, who sends his regrets for not being able to attend today, he asked me to share the following with you. What happened at Christ Church in New Zealand was an act of pure, unmitigated evil. The city of Surrey stands with the Muslim community and people of Christ Church in condemning this hate crime and cold-blooded slaughter of innocent people in their place of prayer and sanctuary. In today's world, when electronic and social media can be used to spread hate, 
discord and violence, we as a community must continue to stand together to push back against extremism and intolerance. We are fortunate to live in a city, a province, and a country where we celebrate and embrace diversity, multiculturalism, and all religions. As we gather today to reflect and remember those who have lost their lives and to those who have been injured, our presence here today also sends a strong message that we are resolute in our stance against hatred and intolerance. And if I could make some of my own personal comments. Love does always win. But in the wake of the horrific tragedy at the two mosques, it is difficult for us to believe, feel, and understand that today. But as citizens, and especially people of faith, we must. No matter your faith, Muslim, Sikh, Hindu, Jew, Baha'i, Buddhist, or Christian like me, we all know that kindness, compassion, and love for our neighbor always wins. Terrorism and the attacks like the one in